Have you ever heard of the uh, Stanford Marshmallow Test before? Uh, way back in the 1960s, a Stanford professor ran like this uh, kind of experiment on children ages four, five, and six years old. He put them in a room with a marshmallow and he said to the kids, you can eat the marshmallow if you want, but if you're willing to wait just 15 minutes, I'll come back and give you two marshmallows. Have you seen this? They've repeated this and they post these kind of videos on YouTube. Ever seen one before? Do um, you know what, the, what happened to the kids? <laughs> uh, they tried to wait. I mean, there were a couple of kids who didn't even bother. They wanted the marshmallow and it was gone in a second. But most of the kids, they really wanted that second marshmallow. And so they would, the, the video is hilarious. Like some kids would like cover up their eyes. One little girl was like pulling on her pigtails trying to distract herself. And the best was, was one little kid. He got down and he started like stroking the back of the marshmallow. <laughs> Anything to wait. But, you know, they found out in the end that of, out of every three kids, only one of them had the self-control to wait just 15 minutes. So how about you? Would you wait? Because when I think about life, your life and, and my life spiritually is, is exactly like that experiment, just in a much bigger scale. Right? God doesn't promise us two marshmallows if we wait for his blessing. He promises us in, incredible gifts, incredible blessings from heaven. There's so much love and, and unity when we can wait and not just give in to our base instinct. Except what we're tempted with is, is not just some dinky marshmallow out of a plastic package. It, it's something that's going to feel really, really good to say, to do, to indulge, to drink, to eat, to, to give into. And unfortunately, we don't have to wait just 15 minutes for God's blessings to show up. Sometimes we have to wait 15 hours or 15 days or 15 months or even 15 years. And so my question for you today is, is, is how good are you at waiting? How strong is your self-control? Because here's what I know about you, that your enemy, the, the real deceiver, the true heel grabber, the devil, he knows exactly what, what marshmallow you like. He knows exactly the, the recipe for the soup that smells best to you. So I want you to think today, what, what's your soup? You know, what, what in the moment just smells so good to you that, that even if part of you knows that this isn't good, this isn't Christian, this isn't godly, this isn't right. Like in the moment, it feels so hard just to say no.